Hello all viewers, I am Dr. Sayyid Mustafa Ashraf. I am consultant physician, Department of General Medicine at Pratima Hospital, Kanchigura, Hyderabad. So today I would like to talk on the present scenario that is as the summer is going has started already. So for that reason, what are the things what usually day to day life, what adults, children and the very elderly people come across. First thing foremost, on the inception of a summer, there tends to be increase in the overall temperature leading to you know dehydration in normal beings, so which will cause either directly or indirectly low fluid content. And the complication of further you know increase as the summer months you know increase and the temperature increases. What all need things we need to follow? First of all, proper hydration technique that is proper intake of fluid for about 3 to 4 liters per day at regular intervals should be followed regularly and avoid junk foods avoid spicy foods avoid oily foods most of the time and avoid sore things and more salty things that will cause more kind of thirst and will create further dehydration in you Second thing, overexposure, avoid unnecessary and overexposure to sun. That is during increased temperatures for suppose, you know, the core temperature goes somewhere around more than 40 degrees. There tends to be a condition when a person is exposed to that high temperatures, he might have a sunstroke that is often called heat stroke. So what is a heat stroke basically? Heat stroke is characterized by when a person is subjected to high degree of temperatures and body thereby not able to bring the body temperature to a normal level when the body mechanisms fail. This is a common thing which many of us see in summer season and usually it is treated in you know, milder cases can be treated by proper rest and proper hydration adequate water intake and proper rest. So what if it, it becomes severe. What are the signs of it? First signs would be severe headache and generalized muscle weakness, you know, associated with vomiting and nausea and stomach pain, cramps, burning micturation and severe dehydration. Mind that that severe dehydration at even, you know, humid conditions with temperature of 38 degrees also might be disposed to heat stroke. And who are more easily, you know, prone to it, the very elderly, the individuals who are more than 65 years old and the children who are less than 10 years old are more likely to develop heat stroke. So during the summer time, make sure you stay in a very, you know, cool environment. If not, a room temperature would be good and make sure you take food on time and avoid excess heat temperature exposure so i hope these are all the things you would be following it and it will more help if you start including fresh fruits or juices except you're a diabetic then these things will help you out important steps i would like to highlight okay following these steps may definitely reduce the risk of you people you know anyone developing heat stroke and its complications because the complications of heat stroke requiring hospitalization is very severe and it requires ICU admission. So my humble request to all my viewers would be go out unless and until it is necessary and don't move out during the thing and children who want to play outside may choose a preferred you know, temperature time frame where the temperature is not that aggressive. And for the elderly, make sure they are given a cool environment inside with proper fluid hydration. Thank you so much.